When you combine friendship plus tools, you can make anything. Bree Pettis did that in his New York City loft. Welcome to my loft. My name is Ian Lanovich, creative director at Low Campbell Ewald. In early 2014, we're moving over 600 employees into the heart of the city of Detroit. I can't tell you exactly what Detroit's gonna be like by the time I give you this presentation, but I can tell you one thing for sure. It's not gonna be the way it was. Whether you're a designer, an innovator, an entrepreneur, or an investor, you're in this business to create, to help a cause, or maybe just simplify one's life. But in Detroit, you have the opportunity not just to make your product, but to define the city's future. Meet Kevin Kreese and Garrett Kohler, two guys who created and led a social media field movement that brought the creative community of Detroit together, showcasing its unselfish spirit and endless motivation. So guys, why Detroit? The whole city is an opportunity in and of itself because you have other cities that are developed, mature, highly competitive, lots of people, um, you know, everyone's scrambling for entry level positions. Versus in Detroit, you can just create what you want to do here and that, there's such an appetite, an audience, that you could start a restaurant, you could start anything, a new business, a website, an app, and you have huge clients and huge, huge customer base that you can sell to. Detroit's often a vanguard city, so everyone's watching how we deal with bankruptcy and how we deal with all of these problems and these issues. And so, if you want to come to Detroit and change things and be a part of of that vanguard movement that's gonna speak for the rest of the nation and what, what happens, um, you would come to Detroit. So what did you guys learn about the people of Detroit? You have to be real enough to live here. There's like a, a tremendous amount of value and authenticity. Um, and if, if they think you're being disingenuous, you know, they, they might not be as willing to help you out on your projects, but if, if they get that you're here to stay in Detroit and work in Detroit, you'll never find uh, a place with so much support from from peers, from people who aren't peers, from executives, you know? People need to see Detroit succeed um, to sort of have faith in the American story. So when, when you see positive things happening here, you want to support it. Whether you're into making movements, making movies, or making apps, the talent is moving to Detroit. Henry Bellinon is on his third mobile app startup in less than six years, two of which were founded in Detroit. He plans to move his latest project there sometime in the near future. The best thing about working in Detroit is actually seeing it grow. So actually seeing it from what it was a year or two ago is completely different than what it is now. Being in a startup is no longer scary in this area. So from the first business to now, uh, it's a lot easier because other people have done it to, to bring people into, into the startup world. People see bankruptcy as this, this really awful thing, right? But it's really a restructuring thing. There's so many people here who are fans of Detroit. Things are gonna get fixed. They already started doing that in the private sector with Dan Gilbert buying up buildings and bringing businesses down there. Uh, now we do gotta do it in the public sector too. I think in our lifetime, we're gonna see a complete turnaround and I'm gonna be here when that happens. So there you have it. We're moving to Detroit and so should you. Why? So we can create friendships, combine our tools with those around us and make, well, anything. Does it bother us that Detroit went bankrupt? Not really. What matters is that it's rich in creativity, innovation, and inspiration. So come join us in defining the future of Detroit.